Hi, Steve Ward here with Mercedes-Benz of Linden. I'm sitting inside the all-new 2017 GLE 43. This is the AMG Sport version. This is the V6 by Turbo. Now, of course, we make this in a 63 as well. We'll get out and take a look at the, uh, the, the outside here in a second, but I want to show you that the inside, well, it looks pretty much uh, the same as the non-coupe version of the GLE. Uh, the 63 is going to have a little bit more plush amenities uh, as far as some seating options uh, and things like that. But for the most part, they're going to be very similar uh, on the way they look uh, inside and out here. You can see we've got this nice to uh, soft touch uh, surfaces up here. This is wrapped with the MB Techs with the, uh, um, with the trim. Harman Kardon high-end uh, surround sound audio. Uh, as we look up here, uh, you can see uh, right away we've got this nice floating screen here. Right back here you can see that we've got some uh, uh, feedback from the sensors in the bumper. Uh, so of course as we get close to something that's going to trigger uh, some LEDs and some sound. If I look in my rear view mirror, uh, there will be another uh, one of those sensors in the back as well. Right up here we see we've got an all glass top. Mid-size uh, vehicle, uh, built on the same uh, chassis and platform as the GLE. Uh, just a little bit different look. Uh, the uh, uh, the GLE uh, 43 is going to be tuned up a little bit different than, say, the GLE 400. Uh, a little bit more horsepower. Note here the 360-degree camera. It's going to be part of our Parktronic system. Uh, which is uh, going to parallel park for us, uh, as well as those feedbacks uh, 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 from the sensors in the bumper, all part of that same package. As we come down here, the uh, center, you notice we've got the heated and cooled cup holders, dual zone climate control, uh, heated and ventilated seats um, through here, uh, some various uh, shortcut buttons. Uh, love the steering wheel, very ergonomic uh, in its design, leather wrapped, uh, very comfortable. This is dressed up here with the piano lacquer. No blind spot assist there in the mirrors. Super comfortable car, and it's very, uh, I mean, it's fast, fast enough. I mean, if without going all the way to the AMG, it's, uh, it's priced uh, quite a bit less than the 63. Uh, through here, uh, we've got the uh, uh, the control for the uh, command system. We're calling this the command system. Uh, note that the top of this uh, screen is actually at the same height um, as the, the hood. And the idea is that I can see the road and I can see the screen under my peripheral vision and I can control everything here. Another nice uh, feature that's uh, coming out here in the new GLEs is this... Um, um, selection uh, uh, button here where I've got five different things that I can select here. Here we've got individual, I've got sport plus, sport, um, comfort, and uh, then a winter mode. Uh, we can raise and lower the vehicle here. Uh, right here if I can push this and get a little bit of feedback, see which wheels are slipping and and, uh, and some, some things like that. Um, right here we've got a heel descent mode, manual mode. Of course if I push this, I've got paddle shifters right up here where I can shift the vehicle uh, manually. Uh, our start-stop button right here. Of course, with Mercedes-Benz, we can always pull out the button and then insert the key. So that's kind of nice because uh, it's still kind of a love-hate thing uh, for some people uh, that don't really appreciate the fact that they can't remember to turn off their car and they get it home and they let it run all night. Note here we've got the... Uh, uh, illuminated door seals in the AMG. Now you can see the difference here with this uh, nice slooping design. Very, uh, very sexy car. Very, uh, very aggressive. Very, uh, very tough looking. Look at the the size of, of these wheels. But look how wide the tires are too. Massive. The tow hitch here. Of course, this is unibody construction. So if you do want to tow something with it. I recommend having that installed at the factory. Beautiful wheel. That's the 22 inch wheel. I'll make it in a 21 as well.
If you ever seen one of these uh, cruising down this uh, the road, uh, pretty cool car. Uh, note we've got lots of ground clearance, and again, remember we can raise and lower the the vehicle. As we come up here, you can kind of see some of the specs uh, on the uh, on the Moroni sticker here. 362 horsepower, 384 pound-feet of torque. You can see right here the V6 bi-turbo. Meaning we've got two turbochargers coming in at 79,000. Pretty well equipped. We got a P3 package, which uh, um, gives us uh, all these goodies in here. The, the Distronic uh, steering pilot, which uh, actually helps. Uh, uh, I mean, it'll actually turn around corners and stuff too when you're out on the freeway. Uh, it will ask you to put your hands back on the wheel, but uh, there's some autonomous characteristics uh, just to aid in uh, in driving and, and cruising on the freeway as part of the, the cruise control package. Note to the 4Matic is all-wheel drive. See a nice perforated uh, cross-drilled uh, brakes there, nice big caliper. Tell right up here with the solid uh, logo that that's where the radar is for the Distronic. Now, of course, with that uh, slooping uh, roof line, we do lose a, a you know a little bit of space here in the back. It's still uh, you know a lot of volume here. We can pull this out, um, but we do you know lose this top section. The seats do fold down. But of course, if you're looking for something really sporty. Of course, keyless uh, entry there is part of that keyless go system. Now the car sounds fantastic, especially uh, when I put it in the sport modes. So here we are, and right up here you can see that I've got a C, which stands for the comfort mode, and I can switch these around. There's sport, sport plus, and right away you're going to notice. Put on the window. I don't know if you can hear it or not. If I go back to comfort. The exhaust changes, so it's it's tuned exhaust when I go to Sport. You can hear it change a little bit when I go to Sport Plus. You can hear it change a little bit. And you can see here that the, the vehicle is lowering. I'm tuning it up for a, a stiffer suspension in the Sport mode. But one thing you'll notice, and I've still got the window down here, is the RPMs are going to hang a little bit higher here in the Sport Plus mode. And it'll pop and gurgle and rev match and, and all that fun stuff that uh, is kind of fun to turn off once in a while, on and off once in a while. And then it kind of you can hear the RPMs. You can hear everything kind of relax as I go to comfort mode. One of the things you'll notice right away with uh, with this vehicle is how quiet it is. It is a fantastic uh, car, very quiet. Oh, I've got it in manual mode right here, so it's wanting to to uh, to rev high here. Let me go back. We'll turn off manual. So the paddle shifter is right there. Uh, pretty handy. Another thing that you'll notice with uh, with these vehicles is the turning radius. You can see here I can pretty much just turn right around in my own in my own length. That's a sport uh, mode, so that's kind of in between the Comfort and Sport Plus. And you can feel it, uh, hear it kind of rev match there and downshift. See the little blue P here? That's part of the parking uh, system where it will parallel park for you. 
a super nice car. Uh, we've got a couple of these down here, kind of a little more rare, not as many of them out there. I invite you to take it, come down, take it for a ride. See for yourself uh, what makes this car so special. Now I'll put it in park. I'm just going to push this button here and I'm going to turn it off. Beautiful 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe.